Hi, Martha again here. I thought I'd just do back-to-back -back videos because i got to get some of my videos out. Um, this video um, is in regards to the day that I found out that I had cancer. Um, you know, when you're getting your test done and they, there's a form you fill out and they ask you how you want to be contacted, I put down by phone. You know, that's fine. Well... I guess, I, I don't know if I'm old school or whatever, but I'm, I'm thinking that when you have a diagnosis of cancer, that they're going to call you and tell you to, to come in so they can give you your news face to face. But that's not what happened. Um, so let me back up a little bit. The, um, the day that I found out about my cancer, uh, me and my husband, I was off work for some reason, and anyway, we were... Uh, the place we were at, we were in our car, in my car, my 2012 Escape, and um, we were getting ready to go somewhere. I don't remember where? And um, my husband got very distracted because somebody was playing a boombox and it was pretty loud. And so he looked up and he wasn't looking, paying attention. And the car went into the back of a parked truck, and it had these rails sticking out. And so I got uh, damage into the back of my car. And of course, I was, I was so mad. I was like, "Oh my God, I can't believe this! Really, I'm gonna have this issue today." So, I said, "Okay, well, let's go get quotes and let's find out how much this is gonna cost to fix and everything." So, we started going to uh, body shops and started getting quotes and everything. I think we got to the second or third one, and um, the doctor's office had called me. And I said, well, let me call you right back. I'm in the middle of getting a quote. So um, we went back to my car. We sat in there, and I made the call. And uh, she asked me if I was sitting down. I said, yeah. And she said, well, I'm sorry to tell you, Ms. Delgado, but you have cancer in your left, well, uh, yeah, in your left breast. This was after the letter, that's right. And um, she goes, you're going to need chemo, radiation, and I didn't hear the rest of it. I dropped the phone, and I was crying, just crying my eyes out. And uh, my husband grabbed the phone and tried to continue the conversation, and they were making an appointment or something for me. I don't even remember. I don't even remember. All I know is that it's that feeling that you get. If you've ever gotten a diagnosis like this, it doesn't matter if it's mild cancer, it doesn't matter if it's killing you tomorrow cancer, it doesn't matter. You feel devastated and you feel like your life is over. You feel like your life is ending. And um, it was just, um, I was, I was, it was like being in a horror flick or something. I was, horrified. I was so scared and um, I, I didn't know uh, how to handle it. It was just really, really uh, a bad, stressful time. And uh, all of a sudden I didn't care about the car. I didn't care about fixing it. I didn't care if I ever fixed it. I wanted to fix me. I wanted to fix the problem. And so uh, that started the chapter of um, going down the, the road with cancer and um, you know luckily I've come out on the other side and I know that that is not um, to be taken lightly because there's a lot of people who don't make it and um, my outlook is, is good so far you know I've, uh, I've talked about this in my other videos and um, it was not an easy road I went down not at all, and uh, it was a scary road, just being honest, but um, <laughs> it's, it's funny, I think, um, the things you're worried about until you get this diagnosis, and I wasn't worried about that my car anymore, and I actually got rid of the car and got a new car, and I never fixed it. So it kind of like prioritizes your life. Um, 
you know, it just, it just does. So uh, the things you worry about all changes when when you get a new worry. It it's, uh, it trumped my other worries, <laughs> you know. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share that story too because I thought that uh, that you know may be worth reflection. Uh, for anybody out there who's gone through something similar. Anyway, um, like or don't like, subscribe or not subscribe. Um, but I just wanted to share my little story with you. All right, you guys have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.